Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing this look. I don't know what to call it yet though, but I'm gonna be using the Maddie palette. This thing, you guys, ever since I got it, I've been using it every single day. I don't even think I have a week with it, but I could consider this like my favorite palette of all because you can do so many looks with it and all the colors here are beautiful. I mean, Manny, you seriously did such a great job. I don't know what else to say about it. I love it. It comes out January, no, fe whoa. It comes out February 24th. I have a feeling it's gonna sell out really quickly because it is such a great palette. But I wish you guys the best of luck trying to get it. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so y'all know the drill. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes. I'm taking the Ciate Partner in Crime Primer. This is just gonna make sure your eyeshadow lasts the entire night. And this is gonna make the eyeshadows come out a lot more pigmented. So the first color I'm taking is Sora. So in this palette, there is a few colors that already existed, but Sora is definitely one of those that he came out with. It's a very beautiful, warm brown. So you guys know I like to start off with soft, like really, really soft browns for my transition color. But I went a little bit too ham, but don't worry, I do get to fix it after. But basically, I'm just applying this directly on the crease with a big fluffy brush. And like I said, it was a little bit too intense to start off with. I definitely needed some blending. So I went in with Beaches and Cream. This is a color that already exists. Exists? Why did I say it like that? <laughs> um, but I went ahead and popped this on the crease. And this really just helped diffuse everything. This is a great color, you guys, for basically any look. It's not really that noticeable, but it really does help diffuse everything. Okay, so the next color I'm taking is Frappe. This has been one of my favorite colors for a while, actually. It's a great medium brown. So I'm going to pop this on the outer V of the eye, and I'm going to slowly work this into the crease. The reason why I'm using the edge of this primer is because I really want that crisp edge. You can use tape. Girl, I have no tape around me. If I could use tape, I would because... It's kind of annoying like holding that thing and making sure you don't move it around but that's why I didn't use tape or you could also just like use a wipe to give yourself that like really nice edge cut edge type of crisp thing I don't even know what I'm saying anyways the next color I'm taking is Luna this is oh my god this color is absolute goals I use it every single day you can use this with a soft or a very dramatic look it's beautiful. It's probably my favorite one in there because like I said, I use it for everything. I think this is a foiled shadow. It's very pigmented. You don't need to wet this. I find myself wetting a lot of shimmery shades. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but with this one, I don't have to wet it. It's very foiled. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what else to say. I'm just obsessed. So next, I'm taking Mars. This color is so unique, you guys. This is one of the colors that he also came out with. It reminds me of Makeup Geek's Bitten, but this is just a lot more red and girl, like, I don't even know. I've never seen a color like this. So I went ahead and just basically popped it right on the crease and it just kind of transforms your makeup. Like, I just, I just cannot. So as usual, you just want to go in with a fluffy brush and kind of just blend everything out just in case there is any harsh lines. Okay, so now I'm going to be going in with Aphrodite. This is also his color right here. This is a perfect dark brown. I mean, I'm saying perfect with all these colors because I'm just truly obsessed with this palette. So I'm basically taking that edge again of the primer just to kind of give that cat eye and I'm just focusing this on the outer crease of the eye though I'm not gonna bring it in too much that's why I'm using like a more precise brush okay so next I'm just gonna go ahead and blend again I'm just gonna take all the brushes that I used on my eyes and I'm not retouching anything I'm not adding any extra product I'm just going in and making sure that everything is very diffused you know we don't want any harsh lines y'all already know that so now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean out the fallout and I'm cleaning up the edges a little bit more because it was a little bit difficult to really get it so crisp with using the edge of a primer so now that that is all cleaned up I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes I thought this was just perfect I could not skip eyeliner this had to be done because it was just a cat eye you know and all that good stuff so I kind of did my eyeliner a little bit more thicker and the wing a little bit more, more longer okay so now I'm just gonna go ahead and coat my lashes I'm gonna be taking this Sigma black Sinocity lash mascara and then after that I'm gonna be taking these cocoa lashes y'all gotta recommend me lashes I keep using the same ones over and over these are cocoa lashes and goddess these I will always recommend though because they're so affordable and they're beautiful. But seriously, you guys, recommend me lashes because 
-hmm. I've been using the same ones over and over again. I like really dramatic ones, by the way, just in case, you know, y'all don't know. <laughs> so now to prime the face, I'm going to be taking the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. I absolutely love this, and I didn't think I'd love it so much till I was trying to pump some more, and it was completely out. I know. I'm so sad. Like, I cannot believe I ran out so quickly, but that just comes to show how much I love it. Now for my foundation, I'm going to be taking the Tarte. Um, I'm trying to figure out which one is this because I literally just misplaced it. I believe it's a Tarte 12 hour Amazonian full coverage foundation. If I do find it, I'm going to have my shade down in the description box. You guys, I actually haven't used this bad boy in a while. I did come to realize now that this does really keep your face matte. So if you have oily skin like I do, you might like it. So now I'm going to be taking this Becca under eye brightening corrector. I have been obsessed with this. If you watched one of my recent tutorials, I had said I hadn't really used it a lot and all, but now I've been using it every single day. It does a really good job concealing my under eye circles, and I really like that. So now I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, and I'm just going to go ahead and conceal my under eyes. This does not really do anything to my highlighting game, so I thought I would go in with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in the color Light to give myself some highlight because... I was just basically concealing my under eyes without doing any highlight. I feel like this It Cosmetics concealer is going to last me forever. The tiniest product goes a very long way, so if you are going to be using this concealer, just be careful. It's amazing for dark circles, but just don't go ham because it's, it's too much. Okay, so here I'm trying to highlight my under eyes using this Banana Powder by Ofra. I was really excited to use this because I got it in my BoxyCharm box, but I feel like this would look better on somebody a little bit more tan. This looked like too yellow underneath my eyes, so I just decided to set the rest of my face using my Airspun Loose Powder. You guys already know that thing is my absolute favorite. So now I'm just going to go ahead and bronze my face. I'm taking the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. I recommend this for people that have fairer skin like I do because I know I get a lot of crap of me using really warm bronzer. So I feel like this suits me best. It's a lot more cool tone, not too crazy. So I'm just applying this underneath my cheekbones. I also like to apply this on my forehead. If you don't have a big forehead, you can definitely skip this. And you also want to apply this underneath your chin. Okay, so I'm also going to be taking this contour shade. This is Bad Habit by Makeup Geek. So I wanted to actually try this out, and I'm actually using the warm fair color, which I thought I was using the cool fair, so I mean, <laughs> oops. So I basically wanted to use this just to really carve out the face. Once I started to notice it looked really warm, I was like, well, there's no looking back now. Just go ahead and blend it out. I mean, really. So that's what I did. And then, of course, don't forget to contour your nose. I actually usually forget this step, but yeah. <laughs> And then I usually just want to take a big fluffy brush just to kind of blend everything out. So now I'm taking this blush by Tarte in the color Exposed. This is a nice, cool toned, kind of dusty rose color. I was a little bit afraid to put this on. I didn't think it would go with the look, but it did go after all. So again, you want to take a big fluffy brush after and just kind of blend everything out as usual. <laughs> I already have my brows drawn in, in case you guys haven't noticed, I always leave a brow tutorial down in the description box in case you guys are interested. So now I'm going to go ahead and highlight my face. I'm taking Artemis by the MUA, MUA what? By the Manny MUA palette by Makeup Geek. Why did that take me so long to say? So I went ahead and highlighted my cheekbones, nose, cupid's bow, forehead, chin, yeah, my whole face. <laughs> I'm going to be taking that same color and popping it in the inner corner of the eye. This is a beautiful inner corner highlight, you guys. It kind of reminds me of Nylon by MAC. Yeah, that's exactly what it reminds me of. Oh, gorgeous. And then, of course, I am going to pop it on my brow bone just for that really intense highlight, you know. Don't be afraid, though. This is not, like, super intense. You can build it up to be intense, but it's definitely very wearable. For my waterline, I'm going to be taking this Shella Lace Highlighter Pencil. I've been using this every single time. I should probably go back to Black Eyeliner, you guys, but I'm a little bit obsessed right now with this. I just really like the way it wakens up my eyes. I'm going to be taking a small crease brush, and I'm going to pop this right underneath the lower lash line and I'm gonna be taking Sora and this is gonna basically just work as my lower lash line transition now I'm gonna be taking Aphrodite and I'm gonna be taking the tiniest pencil brush this is by Morphe it is so cute it is perfect for the lower lash line so I'm just gonna be applying this directly on the lash line just so this could really define the eyes and once you apply mascara it's gonna make your lashes just look a lot more fuller and notice i do go in back with that fluffier brush just to kind of really blend everything out and now i'm just gonna go ahead and coat my bottom lashes 
last but not least the lips i'm going to be taking this beauty for real lip liner this lip liner has always confused me it doesn't have a name i got this in a boxy charm a while back but it's beautiful it's a beautiful nude now for my favorite ultra satin lip by ColourPop is dopey oh my god this is gorgeous. I haven't forgot about the review, you guys. I will be doing full swatches of all the satin lipsticks, so don't you worry. I haven't forgot about it. But anyways, this color right here is the real MVP. I use it every day. It's gorgeous. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!